Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Xa Talk Show. I'm your host Xa Li, and today we are going to do some Vim Golf with Emacs and Xa Fly keys. And first of all, let's get the、uh, video chat. Let Let's get the comments pop up ready. Okay, if you are not familiar, go to this URL. And there are a lot of topics. Just type a topic in the comment. I appreciate your comments. You know, just type them, your opinions, comments, or and pick a topic, and、uh, I will talk about that. So let's pop this out, and we are going to do some Vim golf on the fly, impromptu. <laughs>、uh, ex- Tempo without preparation. That is using soft flag keys. You know, yesterday I saw a Reddit post on Emacs, Reddit Emacs, and people are saying,、uh, you know,、uh, I like to switch to Emacs, but you know, but but it doesn't seems to be efficient <laughs> than Vim.、Uh, and that post was like twenty days ago,、um, you know, several weeks ago. And that's nonsense, you know. Let me show you Xafly keys. Okay, first of all, with Emacs, when you are running Emacs, okay, you can, you know, you can change your keys. Now, if you are using the Emacs default keys, then it is true, it's no good, it's very inefficient, far worse than Vim. Okay,、uh, far worse. It, it's like twice as worse. Okay. If, Like for example, if you、uh, on your normal day average, you know, coding, doing whatever in your editor, if you are using、um, if you are using Vim,、uh, compared to if you are using Emacs, the keystrokes for if you are using Emacs will be twice, at least twice as much than if you are using Vim. Okay, for the same same task you are doing. That is when you are using the default Emacs keys. However. Emacs, you can、uh, use the、uh, Evo mod, which is which is a key binding system、uh, based on Vim. So basically, you are using Emacs like the way you are using Vim. So if you are using Evo mod, you know the Vim emulation, then it's like it's just like Vim. Okay, so there's no inefficiency. There's no such nonsense that Emacs is not efficient. Now. That's using evil mod, okay. You, if you are new to Emacs, try it, okay. Especially if you are a Vim user before. Now there is a Xafly keys, which is, which is a package、uh, I I created, okay. It's 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 efficient key binding system. It's even more efficient than Vim. Okay, it doesn't matter. It's evil mod or Vim. Okay, <laughs> it's more efficient than Vim or Neo, Vim or whatever. And I'm going to show you. So to, today I'm going to、uh, go to the、e, uh, go to the Vim Golf website and let's see、uh, what we can you know demonstrate. You know, it, you know, just I I haven't、uh, went there before. You know, well I, I went there you know like a, a month ago and. Uh, uh, Anyway, the point is, I, I'm not prepared, so let's see what we're gonna find. You know, I'm just going to、uh, do some Vim Golf problems、uh, with Xafly keys. Okay,、uh, so we got two people watching now. You know, type something here and say, you know, say、um, put your comments and opinions, and you know, say hi. So let's go to、uh, first of all,、uh, let's go to Xafly keys. Xafly, okay. Uh, Xafly keys, Xafly profile. Okay. Uh, let me go in to show you the website. Okay. Uh, actually. Let Let's 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 do that. So you know, um, Xafly keys. In case you know, if you are not familiar with what it is. Now, if you have been watching my videos, I'm pretty sure you are familiar because I've been using it. You know, every day. You know, in my videos. So there it is, Xafly keys. Now basically, it's、um, you know it's a key binding for Emacs,、um, and it's modal, meaning it's like you know it's like Vim, where you have 
insert mod and command mod. You know, you have to switch between the two. And uh, however, the difference uh, is that the Vim key binding, VI key binding, is ancient. I mean, it's kind of you know, it, it's backward compatible. It's uh, evolutionary. You know, it's the choices of keys. You know, uh, for the commands is kind of historical, evolved from history. While the software keys, the key choices are based on ergonomics, based on uh, statistics of command frequency and the ease of pressing keys. Basically, the most used commands have the most easy keys. For example, easy keys meaning the home row keys, or you know whatever, or or whatever keys ty typed by your uh, index uh, and pointing fingers uh, and middle finger fingers. Okay. Hi, hi. Good morning, Green Deck. So let's go to. Um, so Green Deck, are you? No, you are an Emacs user for sure. Now, are you, are you using uh, Evo Mod or are you using Emacs default key binding or are you using um, you know soft like keys or some other? So we're gonna let's go to uh, Vim Golf. Let's start to demonstrate. Vim Golf. Okay, I'm gonna beat the hell out of them. I'm gonna demonstrate <laughs> with soft like keys. Okay, Vim Golf, real Vim ninjas count every keystroke. Yeah, sure. And I'm gonna show you with soft light keys in Emacs, I'm gonna have less keystrokes than you. I don't know, you know, let's see uh, if we can do that. Now, do they require JavaScript? Probably. Let's, okay, I have JavaScript on already. Uh, you are using soft light keys, yay. <laughs> uh, Okay, Vim, Vim, Vim Golf. Uh, here we have. Let's see if we have this uh, window. Okay, I s suppose the window must be to the left a little bit, uh, so you guys can see. Huh? Okay, Vim Golf. Now let's see what they want. Uh, Vim Golf. Okay. Real Vim ninjas count every keystroke. Well, uh, ninjas, ninja my ass. Good morning, Justin. What's up? So we're gonna doing a demonstration of soft light keys in Emacs. Doing Vim Golf. Uh, so I haven't prepared. Uh, let, wait, let me magnify. So let's let's begin. Oh, we got a Justin Bieber fan <laughs> sixty nine. Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, wait. I'm getting old, so I need the uh, big text I cannot see <laughs> anymore. So let's see. Uh, open Ring of Challenges. Box it. Uh, 1192 entries. Create a box around a line. Ah, uh, shit. I don't like that one. Okay, but you know. Uh, let's just see. Okay, so we got that, and we want it to be that. Hmm. First of all, let me copy that. Copy and paste into Emacs. And on the left side, you can see all the Emacs I call. For example, I move cursor, you can see the command I call, and you can also see the key I'm pressing. By the way, I'm using a Vorac keyboard. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm using a Vorac key layout. Okay, and I'm also using you know this Kinesis. Uh, keyboard. Okay, this is the best keyboard. Three hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, go go buy from my my website. I have a tutorial. Uh, Xali. Okay, so I'm using this keyboard and I, I'm using a Vorac keyboard layout. Okay, you can go. Uh, read my tutorial. I have a complete review of it, including a video uh, showing my typing on it and so on. You know, if you like it, buy it from my website. Support me. Okay. Now let's go back to Vingo. So we um, okay. Close this. Uh, okay. Let's begin then. Let's try this one. New buffer. Paste. 
Okay, so what we want to do is to make, let's magnify, we want to uh, turn this line into that one. Okay, let's do it. No, first try, okay. Now again, you just watch the left window. It shows my keys and command. So paste it, paste it, and uh, okay, so you want to, um, okay, well, first of all, I need to know how many, how many uh, characters are there. So does, I hope I'm supposing this doesn't count uh, count words. So there are 31 characters. Okay. Now let let's begin. Let's create actually create a new buffer. So starting with that, right? So, so I suppose the cursor is begin at the beginning. They didn't specify where does the cursor begin. So well, so let's just that. Okay. So let's begin counting the keys. Now you count. Okay. Uh, Add that, 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 31, that, that, copy, that, 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 that. <laughs> okay, something is wrong here, wait. Okay, I, I, it's not 30, it's, uh, it's actually 30, not 31. Okay, so how many keys did was that? Let's try it again, okay? Let's try it again. So new buffer, paste. So begin, we begin with that, okay? Now let me start. So let me count the keys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, 15 key, key, keys. Let's see what what these people... <laughs> 21! <laughs> you guys failed! <laughs> okay, great. Victory. Victory for Xaflai keys. Score 1. Okay, great. Greg Degg says, I thought about using Evil Mod, but I'm not very experienced Vim user, so I thought I'd better learn and get used to more efficient key binding like yours. Thank you. Great, so we did one. We are gloating over it. First victory. Okay, let's let's go back. Let's try the next one. Open Vim Golf Challenge challenge. Box it. So 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 let's maybe document it. So uh, stuff like keys 15 uh, vim vim 21 uh, 21 okay uh, let's put the line let's save it uh, vim golf uh, okay so let's hold on a second Okay, so that's one. Let's go back here. We don't need that. Um, uh, you want to save? No. Let's see. Close that. Close that. Okay, we got this is the first problem. Let's go to the next problem. So Justin Bieber says, victory. Just Justin Bieber says, is that because you use the weird keyboard or is it because of Emacs? Well, it's because Emacs and because of flight, soft flight keys. Now, uh, I assume you are new to Emacs. Well, the situation, well, Emacs, you know, if you use Emacs default keys, you know, um, basically soft flag keys is a package uh, that provides you a alternative key binding for uh, Emacs. So, and these key binding choices are efficient, you know. So that, that is why, you know, it's just uh, 21 keys. I mean, you know, that, you know, of 15. So anyway, let's try the simple format. The next problem, simple format. Make it look better. Okay, so uh, this problem is real. Okay, uh, pick, a uh, pick a challenge, fire up Vim and show us what you got. Simple format. So make it look better. So start with this and uh, ooh, this one is Okay, let's copy that. Copy. Switch back to Emacs. 
so here is the second problem uh, let's see okay start file end file so we basically we want to align them along the uh, colon okay I'm not sure how to do that but you know we're gonna see okay now I think the command there's a emacs command called uh, uh, align text okay now I have an option of looking at looking it up first but let's not uh, you know let's try to be natural and uh, uh, you know let's try to find out it, it, you know so okay so so start we're gonna do that let's see okay we want to be like that so let's begin so mx align okay uh, that's not it okay uh, let's start over mx align rejects okay and uh, let's put a colon okay uh, that's probably be, probably because I don't have a selection let's try it again select it mx align rejects uh, and rejects that okay that's not what we want um hmm okay I don't like this problem oh wait actually they also add the uh, they also need to add the quotes okay that's interesting so you also need to add quotes then okay there are two actually there are two I would group them into two problems one is adding a quote one is a line along the um, colon now for the quote it's not it's it's easy okay let me show let's let's do it okay uh, because I have this command okay start record macro key macro one two three okay start it that's a key macro uh, okay wrong uh, let's start again start record a key macro move it one line and do that that's good then stop key macro then select go to the bottom go to the bottom that then apply macro to region lines okay so that yeah I missed uh, the first one so let's let's start again shall we I mean we're gonna do this several tries I guess okay so let's try again I'm, I'm not going to read them you know uh, just look at the left and you you can see what the command I'm calling okay uh, it's not key on code that then insert paren then that 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 okay and uh, that okay so basically that's one problem solved uh, you know six keys or seven keys <laughs> and okay the next problem is to align now I don't know how to do it offhand uh, align rejects so I think the solution is align rejects But um, okay, let's try that. Now, okay, we we have to look look it up. Oh, these people are doing twenty twenty keys or twenty commands rather. Now, are those keys or commands? Uh okay anyway so let's go to Xali Emacs align okay let's search I have written uh, a tutorial about alignment align text well the issue right now is you know the align uh, align rejects I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a command so we have to read you know exactly the regular expression what to use 
uh, group spacing repeat. So, for example, Atlantic region. Um, well, let's let's just try to read my um, my uh, tutorial about about it. Align rejects to align text. For example, that becomes that. Okay. And the problem that, okay, so we have this situation and we want to align like that. So what you do is, um, group. And these these commands are you know usually okay. Let's read some comments. Wait wait. If I read comments, would that be considered cheating? <laughs> because uh, let, let me just try it a little bit. Okay, align rejects. So we basically have two problems. Um, let's go back to um, so the align rejects. Okay, so we need to do a control uh, select it, control U for universal uh, argument, then call align rejects, then uh, complex align using regular expression. Okay, no, that's not it. Um, <coughs> yeah, so the the situation now is that we actually really have to understand about the command uh, align rejects in order to do this. Uh, so let me just look at what I did here uh, quickly. Uh, so choose the group so zero two nine so anything space zero two nine including comma okay so we give an argument of regular expression and in this regular expression we have one group which is this part and this group is supposed to capture these um these numbers okay then after the group then it matches anything I suppose that is the KM part okay then we choose negative one uh, for group why do we choose negative one for grouping here's what it means okay then just match the whole Okay, so let's, so I kind of get, I kind of, I have some kind of idea. So let's try it again. Control U, wait, let me get show the window, okay. And uh, uh, I'm going to read the comment in a bit. So c Control U, align rejects, okay. And uh, the regular expression I want to use is, I don't want the default. Uh, I want okay. So uh, we want A to Z. Oops, ah, shit. Uh, wait a minute. A to Z. Okay. A to Z one or more wait actually let's just try this that okay then justify if negative yes 
so negative one okay amount of spacing or column if negative uh, one repeat through outlines yes and so let's do it again Yeah. Okay, this one is a fail. Okay, let me read the comments. Um, you know, one problem with Vim Golf is that, you know, you have to, like, there's no time limit. You know, actually, it makes sense to actually have time time limit. Because, you know, if we want the Vim Golf test, uh, uh, some kind of a test to show efficiency or superiority of the editor, okay, you should have a time uh, limit because that prevent people from spending for example right now I can spend the whole day you know to figure out about the align uh, rejects command you know the syntax I, I spend the whole day to figure it out then I then I create you know I do the I solve the problem like in, in five keystrokes okay that's kind of cheating. You really have a, a you really need a uh, time stamp or kind of a time time you know uh, limit because that way then wh whoever has got the best answer you know shortest number of keystrokes plus the shortest uh, some kind of a time limit okay not necessarily timed you know some kind of time time limit then we know you know these are answers such that people can come up instantaneously not by you know go back to read the manuals for an hour and find out you know you know read the, old, the whole manual and find out which way is the least amount of keystrokes you know because this way once you have a time limit then it indicates you know for certain problem it indicates oh so you know this problem all the people can actually solve it you know just within let's say five minutes you know instead of you know spending hours you know because a lot of these Vim Golf uh, solutions I, you know I know that they you know these are nerds right they all spend you know they try to find the best way to spend hours offline then you do the problem so like right now like right now I'm stuck with it so you know if if i'm going to actually if if there's a time limit then i then actually i'm just starting to you know uh ma manually align them you know actually that is actually faster than um uh, than me going to read up about uh align rejects command because this, this command is fairly complex and you you also have to actually understand regular expression which a lot of programmers do not necessarily know it well you know you know that's uh, actually that's true um so do do we take the do we count you know the time to understand regular expression it literally can take years i mean it's because regular expression is uh actually really fairly complex you know it can take years uh, to actually understand what they are so anyway so this problem i kind of uh sucked uh, let's say so let me read the uh, comments <laughs> okay uh, victory is that um, so break the loop good morning break the loop there is a really cool Vim game called Vim adventures I used it to learn Vim key keystrokes it costs $25 I consider it worth it if you want to learn how to use Vim <laughs> okay that's not for me I'm not gonna use Vim I'm gonna use Emacs and Safari keys, of course. Uh, Justin Bieber says, "Okay, so it's really optimized. Thanks for explaining, Senpai. Thank you. Uh, so sen Senpai, that's a Japanese word. You know, actually, I didn't know what it means, but it's um, it's it's kind of uh, it means like uh, like instructor or something like you know." Uh, uh, as opposed to sensei which is which actually means teacher uh, where teacher is the sensei is more uh, more senior than senpai something like that anyway 
Sim Senpai is becoming popular word. Uh, what community is Senpai popular? I mean, where did when? I mean, it, I'm pretty sure it's new, like within the last ten years or five. So, but what community is it? Gaming community that word uh, spread. So Thomas Wall says hello, 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 hello. Good morning, Isaac. So Thomas Wall says he just found something. Okay, shut up. <laughs> That's you know it's not good to talk about that here. Um, okay, let's maybe let's try another Vim Golf then. Oh, so Senpai is from anime community. Okay. <clears throat> so let's try another one. One number per line. Uh, actually, wait, wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me just finish this because these people got, you know, uh, these people, simple format, okay. These people got 20 lines, 20 uh, keystrokes. I'm pretty sure I can beat it without actually using a line re re rejects because there are only like 10 lines here, okay. Let's try it then. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three. Uh, actually, uh, actually, let's see. Uh, okay, so keyboard start macro. You know the default binding. Actually, there is uh, F two is the default binding. I removed it because you know. Uh, Okay, let's try it. Let, let forget it. You know, I you know by default the start macro and end macro has keys. I believe it's F three and F four. But however, for me, each one of them is three keys because I want to use F three and F four for other purposes. Uh, therefore, if I'm going to use you know call the command start macro, I'm going to have penalty of more keys. So what I can do, for example, keyboard uh, el. You know, go to my keyboard definition. Uh, let's search for F3. You see, <coughs> excuse me, I have, you know, these set to uh, my own definitions. That is why. Um, maybe uh, I can. Now nah, let's not, let's not remove them. It's silly. Let's just do it. Okay. So, start my, uh, way down. Okay. Um, new buffer. Okay, let's begin. Um, start keyboard macro. Um, and uh, okay. And delete uh, R, okay. Okay, so that's that's it. That's done. Let's see one two th uh one two. Okay, I actually need just two. Okay, so I, I don't think I used um many keystrokes. Um so let's read the comments. Uh Weeps anime community, hi. Uh good morning Danielle. I went out last night, got drunk. I'm, I'm hungover. Maybe still drunk. Uh, <laughs> okay, Dion. Good morning, Dion. Good job. Hey, uh, thank you. Um, so anyway, that 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 is um, that is the uh, it. Let me let me do it again. Okay. Now you guys can count keystrokes. Okay. Let's see, let's see how many keystrokes I uh, actually used to do this. So let's start over again. Um, Uh, let's let's start that. Um, 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, actually, let's don't do that. Well, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Actually, that, that's that, that's cheating. But anyway, uh, eleven. Uh, then uh, actually I should have it like that 11, <laughs> 12, 13 <laughs> and uh, 14 15 um, 17 um, yeah anyway so that you know it's kind of um, yeah anyway so 17 so they they have 20 I think it's about the same actually uh, my, my my solution yeah, yeah I think it's less so anyway so uh, that's that the problem so close that let's do another one um, so yeah so let's do another one um, I would say equal, okay. I would say with stuff like this is is about equal to twenty keystrokes. Now let's do another one. Um, so let me read the comments. Um, so by the way, I heard you say some uh, some kind of tea in America is called chai. Is this a Chinese word? Uh, because tea in Russia is chai. Uh, yeah, it's well. The 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 thing is the Chinese uh, word for tea is. Cha, okay. Let me say it again. Cha. Actually, let me type it. Uh, you have to wait a little bit. Oh wait. Uh, pin simplified. Uh, pin simplified. Yeah. Cha. Okay. So that's the character. Uh, so that's pronounced. Hold on a second. Uh. So let's pronounce that. Uh, second, uh, sec second um, turn, cha. And uh, but in I, I think in Vietnam or s Southern Asia they they call chai. You know, basically it's a transliteration of Chinese. So in cha, cha in Chinese becomes chai, or something similar in in, in Vietnamese or something. And then, then American transliterated from that that's that's why uh yeah cha, yes uh yes yes exactly is right so in india chai is not a flavor of tea it is tea chai literally translate to tea in hindi okay so therefore i guess you should never use the phrase chai tea yeah there's no 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 in america in starbucks they just call it chai uh they also have a drink called tea but again, you, you know, it's just corporate trying to create, you know, novel new words, um, you know, to attract customers. So let's try another bingo thing. Uh, Emacs, Emacs scam four. What does that mean? Uh, so yeah, let's try another Vim Vim golf. So simple format. We did this one, and uh, remove lines containing. Uh, word containing the word reader okay start file end file uh, this is this is so trivial uh, let's copy it copy it so paste it here reader not reader okay end file so we want to begin from that to so new buffer uh, new buffer remove the word that remove lines containing oh that's so simple that's so trivial so we go here so wait 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 a second let me show um, so call uh, wait call delete uh, delete matching lines okay flush lines continue match uh, type reader done okay so that's that's um, for me it's like two commands or, th or four keystrokes.
uh, yeah, so um, so let's see what they have. <laughs> Nine keystrokes, I win. <laughs> Um, four keystrokes, so they got nine keystrokes. Uh, Vim. So okay, let's try another Vim then. Uh, go back to Vim, Golf, and uh, let, maybe is there a difficult one or something? Are they uh, ordered in particular way? Uh, let's see. Wait, are you guys still interested in Vim Golf or stuff? <laughs> like you guys are chatting about chai. Uh, okay, clean and group. Let's try this. Two pairs of clusters of letters creates word. So this problem is two pairs, two pairs of clusters of letters. Okay, two pairs creates word. What does it mean? Okay, start file is this one. Let's copy it. Uh, close that. Okay, then wait. Let's paste the problem here. So start with that. End file. Okay, let's see. Okay, the title actually is not a description of the problem. Rather, the title is a uh, just a uh, easy memorization of the result. You know, just serving as a uh, hint of the result. So anyway, so you start with that, and you want to end up with that. So what does? Uh, so I suppose it deletes all. Okay, uh, uh, basically deletes all quotes and uh, and also removes all uh, comma. Basically removes. Yeah, it, it is so simple. This this is too simple. Okay, new buffer, paste it here. Okay, then um, query replace. Let's try it. query replace. Apostrophe, comma space. Apostrophe. That. That. Oh wait 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 a second. Uh, query replace. Apostrophe comma space comma enter replace with space enter ban to replace all. Okay, so um oh it actually wants okay so we want um first of all let's see what exactly is involved. So some of these, let's see. So some of these. Okay, so that you want to remove. Then pairs. Then also you want to remove that. Uh, then Okay, let's just let me just try it then. First of all, let's 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 just remove that. Okay, so it's actually. Uh, so it's kind of confusing because you don't know. Um, so let's analyze the problem again. You know, in in real life, you know, when you, in real life when you want to do this, you don't. You know, you just, you know, whatever the it's the first method, you just do it. Then you try to, basically evolve step by step towards the solution. You do not, you know, like. What we are doing now, you know, like analyze the, the the problem and find out the most efficient way, like one command or two commands to do it. So that's kind of the problem with Vim Golf. You know, again, like I said, it really should have a time uh, limit. Now we don't necessarily want want it to be scored by timing, like how fast you can do it, because if you score by timing, then there's a question of 
you know, who can type faster. You know, if I can type faster than you, I win. You know, but but that's not fair because what we really want to do is actually to find out uh, the efficiency of the editor, not you know, not the person's reaction time. You know, young people will type faster and so on. So, but it, so it should be uh, uh, have a time limit. You know, but anyway, so so this problem exactly. So, first of all, we know that this needs to be replaced by empty space. Okay, uh, needs to to be replaced by empty. Then, rem then this um, needs to be removed, uh, replaced by. Okay, some of them becomes empty. Some of them uh, becomes new line. Uh, yeah, some of them is empty. Some of them is new line. Now, is there is there a pattern? So this is empty again. Uh, this is a new line. This this is empty. Wait. Uh, um, so anyway, so so this this is a uh, new line cluster empty. So let's find out all. Okay, so all of you know uh, apostrophe comma apostrophe needs to be. No, that's not true because some of them actually needs to be new line. Okay, so we have a situation where. Okay, let's do this then. Um, uh, let's do this. So copy that. Wait, uh, let's see. Okay, so first of all, let's begin. Query replace apostrophe, enter, replace by nothing. Bang, replace all. Then go to the beginning of the, the, of the line. Query replace again. Comma space replaced by a new line okay enter no okay that's a better way um, replace comma by new line Okay, do it for all. Then, uh, uh, this is a stupid problem. There's no okay. The the thing is, I'm just like not sure what to do. You know, like like you know, what, should I like continue to figure out a pattern, or should I just like do it? Um, so, so it's alternating. So uh, Dion says, okay, so the new line is alternating. Uh, Snow, okay. Okay, so let me read. Well, anyway, so <laughs> the problem is indecision because now I'm I'm thinking of reading a comment first, but then that becomes cheating. Uh, almost. So let let me just work out work this out. Then just push it push it through. So, so wait. So I just replaced um. Replace comma by empty. Okay, no. No, yes, no, and uh, there's no pattern, it's annoying. No, yeah, there's really 
no pattern. Well, if there's a pattern, it's rather complicated. So, so it's actually easier if you just go through them manually. Um, no. 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 You see. So first of all, so some of them is like that. Then, then replace comma space by by empty. Yes. No, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Then do it again. Um, oh, I forgot that one. Eh, what stupid problem? How many? How many? How many keystrokes they have? Seventeen. So. Do you guys know? Are they counting keystrokes or are they counting commands? Well, it's a bit complex because then, if you are counting commands, then um, well, I don't know. So I suppose they are counting keystrokes. Seventeen keystrokes. Let's start over again. Um. Replace comma space by new line. Okay, just do it. Then go to the top, replace apostrophe by empty. Do it. Go to the top, replace comma by empty. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Wait, we got the arrow here. Uh, creates. Uh, and yeah, let's try it again. Replace. Should I replace apostrophe first or not? Let's do it. Replace apostrophe by nothing. Do it. Go to the beginning. Replace comma. Uh, replace comma by. Let's just replace comma by space. Okay. Wait. Let's replace comma by nothing. Do it. No, that's not right because look at the F cluster. Look at here, it's not right. So replace comma by space. Do it. Then replace one, two, one, two. Ah, this is painful. Yeah. I don't know because you know when I'm when I'm doing video I try I want to try to you know not for being protracted you know and wasting a lot of time so I've been talking for 50 minutes so what what is the uh, so what is the answer guys I work in Starbucks good company but craft coffee chai chai uh, tea latte uh, good company but craft coffee Scan Emacs scan four. Okay, Danielle says I drank uh, I drank a bunch of Pabst Blue Ribbon last night, uh, but it's the part that really knocked me for a loop. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Vim Golf Love. Isaac says, Dan, very nice. I'm kind of the on the fence of using soft light keys just because I want to learn how to create my own set of keys. Haha, <laughs> but maybe I should try out. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I don't want to, you know, I, I'm, you know, I don't want to discourage people, you know, not, you know, I don't want to say, oh, you just try my key, you know, key running. But actually, that, you know, that's a lot of work. I mean the the bulk of of the work in soft light keys, you know, 
it's not just defining keys. I mean, so so one part is the technicality of learning how to program keys in Emacs. Okay, but the other part that's actually took me several years. You know, because I've been working on the efficiency thing for like over ten years. That is actually the more um, the more critical, the more important, the more valuable. That's uh, what I did. I you know if I may say. So 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 you know. So Lemberak, if you want to goof with something for the heck of it, uh, but I admit I'm in the middle of uh, goofing with learning Lemberak. First comma becomes empty. Second becomes new line. Okay, so this problem is nasty. I mean, because there's no first comma becomes empty the second comma becomes new line so first of all uh, hold on a second first comma becomes empty okay yes no uh, oh uh, yes that's not true, you know. This is supposed to be no, but actually it's yes. So it's not. I don't think it's alternating. Uh, yes, no, yes, no. Okay, so it actually is alternating. Yes, no. Oh uh, wait. Yes, no. Okay. Yes, no. Okay. Yes. No, okay, yes, no. Okay, so there is a pattern. So good, thank you. So let's do query, query replace rejects then. Comma uh, and uh, question mark. Uh, comma and actually a dot. Replace it by uh, empty, okay? Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Yes, no, yes, okay, thank you. Thank you, uh, uh, thank you, uh, 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 was it Dion? Uh, let's see, uh, yeah, Dion. So, okay, there's a pattern. Then, after you do, after you do that, then, uh, basically, yeah, it's annoying, you know. Then, then you replace all space by empty, okay. Then you replace all comma by uh, that. Oh, okay. So let's thank you, uh, Dion. So we got a tip, you know. After analysis, we got the most efficient way. Let's let's try it one more time. So first of all, replace. So let me count. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, um, comma dot. Okay, eight, eight, nine, ten, replaced by nothing. Okay, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, then 27, 28, uh, wait, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Okay, so actually, it is a mistake. It should be D because I should use the rejects comma space instead. Um, but anyway, kind of 30, 34, uh, depending on how you count. So what, what, what is there? 17, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I consider, well, yeah, I consider that it's, uh, they win. Um, 
but you know, uh, but th th maybe uh, maybe there's a better way. But you know, one of the problem because then you know I can figure out you know what an analyze the situation. Okay, I think that's it for the Wim Golf. Um, because I you know we demonstrated maybe we should do more actually um, you know but we did three I think that's enough to get people some idea of you know how, how it is sound like he's uh, so let's see the comments so if you have comments let's you know type it then you know we've been talking about for an hour already usually one hour is the is the mark um, you know we might end it so let's see what what comments. Um, so Daniel says, "Learn Vorak." Uh, by the way, you know Vorak is, is very efficient. Let me. I talked about this before. Ksali Vorak. Okay, I talked about this before in my previous talk show. Uh, so I have this article. Like there are five articles about Vorak keyboard layout, and uh, it answers anything. Everything you wanted, you ever wanted to know about Vorak. Now, is it? Are you going to type faster if you learn Vorak? Are you going to? What are the issues and so on? Okay, um, you know, you you can just you know read from my website, and uh, you are not going to be faster with Vorak. Okay, also, I mean, you are not going to type faster if you already t uh, touch type quality, and also there are certain inconveniences because everywhere you go in public to the library. Using your friend's computer, using your coworker's computer, there's a problem of switching key binding. I mean, you have to. I mean, although it's not difficult, but you have to do it. Uh, but you cannot do it in libraries or any public places. So there are these little issues, but and it doesn't really make you faster, and it does not actually save. If you have hand pain uh, for repetitive strain injury, Vorak is not. Uh, doesn't really help in that way. Uh, you, what really helps is a better keyboard. You know, I have lots of articles you can read here. So what's a good? Uh, what's the deal about Vorak? Well, it's it's efficient. It's actually uh, more efficient than QWERTY, and uh, it makes you typing uh, more comfortable. Uh, so so, but if you are learning, if you already t touch type on QWERTY, and you you are trying to learn Vorak, uh, let me. Affirm that it's going. The experience is going to be extremely painful for at least one month. You, supp I mean, assume you type. You know, you try to learn it for one hour a day, or two. Uh, it's going to be painful for at least one month. Okay, so because I had the experience in 1994. Okay, so um, so anyway, you can check out my tutor. Uh, you know, my a bunch of essays about all about Vorak you ever wanted to know. And by the way. There is no problem of using Vorak in Emacs because I learned Vorak layout in 1994. I was a touch typer since 1987, somewhere around there. Okay, so I learned I learned Vorak in 1994, and I I start to use Emacs in 1998. So by the time I use Emacs, it's all Vorak. I never I never have you know try to use Emacs in, with the quality experience so and I didn't find a problem uh, you know there's really no problem with, about that I mean that's one of the frequently asked question um, so anyway and especially if you use soft light keys you know because I'm using Vorak I'm using soft light keys so it's good for you um, so, so okay, can you explain the benefits of your keyboard? Okay, yeah, let's do that. Well, I did explain, you know, I did explain a lot, you know, um, a few times in my videos. Um, but you know, why not? So if you just go to my Ugo Emacs page, let's see if I can show the screen. Uh, yeah. So you know, I have this article. Uh, you can read all about it, and basically. Uh, if you don't know, um, you know basically this is ergonomic keyboard. You know it's it's the most uh, advanced ergonomic keyboard. So, so you see, 
so one okay so first so okay let me just go over for one minute so first of all the key sections are split so you don't have to like put your both of your hand in the middle like normally a keyboard like you have to put your hand in the middle and 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 your uh, your wrist tends to be like that because you know they are all in the middle so you, your wrist tends to be like that so this is split you know meaning my hand you know if you look at my arm you know it's it's like a straight line you know I don't have to bend this way I don't have to bend that way okay so it's it's straight and you can also see the keys are straight you know there, there's uh, uh, let's see yeah you see uh, the keys are straight uh, so you my fingers move up down instead of you know a normal keyboard it's like uh, slanted in a weird way uh, I explained that in my website you can see the keyboard design uh, section and you can see design flaws you know the reason our keyboard is like that because of history I mean it's all histor historical baggage and people are you know used to it by habit like then suddenly if you change things people don't like it that's that is why we are stuck we are stuck with this traditional uh, PC keyboard it, it's it came from the uh, mechanical typewriters you see all these it, it, yeah, the shift key everything basically it, everything came from habit of using you know like back then 100 years ago 200 years ago you have uh, typewriters mechanical typewriters and people get used to that then we started to have computers, you know, in 1950s or so, and uh, people want to stay with, uh, you know, electric, you know, first of all, we have mach mechanical typewriters, then we have electric typewriters. People get used to it, used to it. You know, if you watch this, this video, it shows, you can see a lot of history. I mean, you can see, oh, why we press the tab key you know what you know it doesn't make sense today but it it is that way because you know because of history uh, then you have that's why you have the tab key and the shift key and why is it called shift key shift key is called shift key because it actually shift all the gears under the typewriter you know like shift them so you know like uh, move to a different position so that when you type, you know, different keys strikes out, the capital letters. But anyway, so it's all history. But people get used to that. So once you design a computer keyboard, people tries to make it just like, you know, a typewriter. That's how you sell it. Because if you have something new, people don't want it, you know. <laughs> like, they, you know, that's our habit as well. It applies to programming languages as well. It applies to lots of things. Because habit is a very strong. Uh, and, and actually, it's, habit, is, is habit kind of governs efficiency. I mean, because if we already know something, you know, may it be a programming language or muscle memory or the way we do some things, you know, driving to work or whatever, whatever, you know, there's a habit, you know, we, we have muscle memory, we already know it, we, we know how to do it, we understand it. But suppose there's a new invention with new, new technology, but, but it's, it, but you, but it's kind of new in all ways that you have to like learn it for a week even though it's you know extremely ultimately it's more efficient you know but people don't want it first of all you have to spend one month to learn it you know that's that's a time drain it's like Vorak you know that Vorak is the same uh, situation you know you are already used to quality then if you don't really type that much you know um, if you don't have hand problems it, it, it works fine you know it works fine for your mom your pet your parents, your grandpa, you know, <laughs> you know, you don't really type that much. Like how much you actually type, that's the important thing. So, but if you actually do type a lot, then uh, it's a it's an issue. So then you want Vorak and you know other things. Yeah. You know? So, so yeah. So the way the the reason we have the keyboard the way they are lots of lots of the, uh, you know almost every detail is due to history. It's not because design you know efficiency of design none of that is okay so 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 that's that is why people have designed uh, this um, ergonomic keyboard this kinesis advantage so first of all you see you first of all it's split apart for two hands 
uh, so you don't have, you know, like, um, you know, like a normal keyboard, typically your hand is like, they are very close. So you have this painting called, uh, uh, called, um, uh, let's see what it's called. Uh, there's a name, you know, the, the doctors, they have a name for it. Una deviation and also pronation. Yeah, it's, it's called una deviation. Uh, so first of all, it's, you know, wide apart. So um, then you have... Then you have a uh, dip. So like on, on a normal keyboard, like if you put your on a normal keyboard, you, typically it's, you know, this is your desk and, uh, you know, you have to bend up because the keyboard, you know, there's certain thickness. And worse is that people have a habit to prop up the uh, back legs of the key. That's actually worse. You don't want to do that. So on this Kinesis keyboard, you don't have that problem because uh, let me show you so you see um i put my hand so you, you see actually it uh, kind of like let's see if i can see it. it you see it dips in the keys actually dip in so if i my hand uh, let's see my hand uh you see you see the key actually dip in so i don't have like bend up so i'm actually using a tower for wrist pad but i don't have to but you know, if I just uh, let's see, place my hand, you see the fingers dip dip in. So I don't I don't have to like bend up like that. So that's another advantage. Then another advantage is that the keys are aligned straight up. You know, like a grid. So so you don't have to you don't have this slant. You know. By the way, the slant again the the slant is uh, due to history history. You know because you might be wondering why are the keys, you know, slanted in a, a irregular way. By the way, you know, they are not re regular because it's not like they are regular, uh, uh, like a honeycomb or something like that. Uh, but you know, the reason they are slanted that way because you see the bars under the key; those bars needs to be equal distant to each other. <laughs> Therefore, the key be becomes slanted in this way. Uh, so that's the history of it. Okay, I think that's about it today because we've been talking for uh, 70 minutes. Well, let me read the comments, okay. So I hope that's a good introduction. Uh, I mean, the uh, you know, uh, introduction to the kinesis. So, uh, you know, on this page I have videos, you know, you can, you can read and you can watch the video. Uh, if you like it, buy from my website, okay, S you know, s support my work. Okay, so let's see, uh, let me read the comment and uh, DM my green and damn phone. That's part of the problem that is a pair of words. Oh, okay, now I get it. So that Vim Golf problem, it's pair of words. Okay, so once, yeah, so yeah, I should have known that it's, so that implies alternating. I'm pretty sure I can do a better uh, job with that. Uh, but, you know, but again, the problem becomes analyzing the problem. Like I have to, first of all, spend like five minutes to analyze, you know, carefully analyze the problem and do many several tries, then actually, you know, do it and uh, with the least minimal count of keystrokes or min minimal count of commands. And that's no good because the time you spend analyzing the problem, it really should be part of the problem. So that's why I say you should have a time limit because then it's more realistic. Uh, let's see, where, where is the problem? Uh, yeah, okay, so two pairs of clusters of letters creates a word. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So it's kind of alternating. So if we do it, yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Uh, so they got 17. Anyway, so DM, MVP. Uh, MVP is what? Is the... Uh, We did it, night gag. What are you guys talking about? Uh, not too much, night gig, sorry. Night gig, what does that mean? 
So how do you stick to Emacs? Do you, did you jump between text editors? Oh, back in, okay, so I, I started, I used, um, so in 1990s, the most popular editor on the Mac is called um, BB Edit, okay? And there's a lot of history to that, okay? So BB Edit, that is kind of the hip editor, you know, the, it's a text editor, okay? Uh, you can go read Wikipedia, and it's in in throughout 1990s. It's the most uh, hip, you know, the popular uh, editor on the Mac. And I was using a Mac uh, most for for 1990s because anyway. So so, but I started to get into industrial programming in 1998. Most of 1990s, I'm a math. You know, I'm a, I'm big, I'm, I'm trying, I'm a math, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm trying to be a mathematician, okay. On my, you know, climbing, climbing the ladder to become a math professor, so, or something like that. So anyway, I was using, using BB Edit and uh, on the Mac. And I'm not, you know, I don't know nothing about programming. Uh, but anyway, in 1998, I started to do uh, industrial programming. Before that, it's, it's all Mathematica, uh, programming Mathematica. So industrial programming, so I started to, I learned about Unix and I heard, you know, learned about Emacs and that interests me because I have always been interested, interested in this kind of a uh, uh, so-called hacker community, hack, <laughs> hacker type of things, you know, uh, Unix and uh, Emacs, this kind of um, non-mainstream, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, thing. So, so I learned Unix, I learned, so I, I, I read about Emacs and I remember, you know, before the first time I ran into GNU, you know, the GNU is not Unix project and, uh, you know, Free Software Foundation, it's especially GNU, you know, it's kind of weird, you know, why, why do you have this GNU thing? I mean, what is it? Like, like okay, oh, it's a project? What do you mean it's a project? You know, then, then, then of course there's a copy left, you know, a bunch of things, right? The Richard Stallman. But anyway, so I was attract, attracted to it. So eventually, of course, you read, you know, you slowly read them all. So I, mean, I, I slowly, you know, I read, you know, I, then I understand GNU, what is GNU, what is Emacs, what is Free Software Foundation. In fact, back from 1998 to like 2000, okay, uh, 2002, okay, I've read everything, uh, basically everything that's written by Richard Stallman. Okay, no kidding. Everything that 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 is available on the web, the entirety of uh, Free Software Foundation F F F F S F dot org, in nineteen in, in let's say year two thousand, whatever page on there I have read, and also um, Emacs. You know, I, I was in, re, uh, into reading manuals, so Emacs. Um, for example, let's go to uh, you know Emacs manual. Uh, so you see, in this directory, uh, uh, there are lots of historical document documents about Emacs. Let me show you some interesting because these days people don't know anymore because you know I'm now like you know I'm now like an old person you know I'm can I can I'm like talking history. <laughs> uh, okay, go up a directory. Uh, wait. Uh, go to Emacs uh, info. I think it's info. Okay. Um, ERC info wave. Okay. I don't think this is the right directory. So go up a direct. Okay. On the Mac, I think on the Mac the structure is a bit different. So go. So in uh, go up a directory. Okay. Let's go to Emacs. There's a Emacs act directory. Okay. Here. You can there's a act directory, and here you will find a bunch of uh, historical kind of documentations that's uh, included with Emacs. For example, let's look at this one interview. Okay. Now you can see GNU is not uh, Unix. Conducted by David Betts and John Edwards, Richard Stallman discusses his public domain Unix Unix compatible software system. Uh, you know, this is July 1986. Okay, that's one example of an old document. And then there's a jokes, um, you know, a, a jokes file. 
uh, then there is, uh, you know, anyway, back then I read everything, you know, I basically uh, read everything about Free Software Foundation, about Richard Stallman, and about Emacs, and I love Emacs, because the back then, basically your option is, so as I said, you know, I'm very much into the, uh, the nerd, the, the, you know, the Unix geeks, uh, so-called hackers community, okay, so, uh, I read, uh, so I learned, you know, so you have two options, kind of, like, you have uh, VI, okay, back then, there's Vim, but there's several implementations of VI, okay, Vim is actually one of them, and became popular today, but back then, you have Evo, uh, you have Elvis, okay, and Vim, uh, and VI, okay, and VI itself has been implemented a few times, uh, but with the same name, VI. But anyway, so VI, so basically the choice is like v, v, VI or Emacs back then. And uh, VI is no, com you know, I despise, I despise the Unix ways, the Unix philosophy. I despise the VI. VI is typically the way, uh, the VI style, or VI uh, uh, philosophy is kind of associated with uh, Unix, okay? Because you have, you know, it's just like, it, I mean, it's a, one of the component of uh, Unix. But Emacs, on the other hand, is actually kind of like the opposite, okay? E and, and also Emacs is using Emacs Lisp, okay? Lisp is considered also the opposite of the Unix system. You have Lisp machines, okay? Now, if you if you are young, you don't know, you may not know, okay? The, uh, the Lisp machines um, and the ITS, you know, the Lisp machines community is actually the in opposition of the Unix philosophy, they they are like they are uh, on technical issues. They are philosophically on the opposite end, opposite ends. You know the C people, these people don't like the C people. C people <laughs> think that these people are stupid. It's kind of like that. Okay, so you have this war going on. So. I've read this, you know, my opinion, I always, I'm, I'm always, I'm strongly on the Lisp side, okay, on the Emacs side, their philosophy, their idea of how things should be done, okay. I despise the C, the, the, the Unix C and the VI way. I, I think the VI is the most idiotic hack, <laughs> you know, possible. You know, I don't want it, you know, so I want, so that's why I learned Emacs, I choose Emacs. And, uh, you know, pretty soon, you know, after a few months, I'm living it, I'm living in Emacs, you know, I've read uh, the Emacs manual, you know, uh, the, uh, uh, you know, the, the, you know, uh, a lot of it, uh, you know, in the beginning. So, so, I, you know, I, you know, I decided Emacs is my, uh, uh, is now I'm going to stick with Emacs, so I, I spent time to learn it thoroughly. And, you know that's how I um, uh, become an Emacs user. So I think that's it. Fascinating debate about Varag. Pretty much nobody bothers with it, but QWERTY doesn't make any sense though. Yes, Justin Bieber says so. That keyboard really helps a lot. Again, it's wrist pain and stuff. It looks pretty alien. Yes. Uh, good stream, Ksa. Thank you. Thank you, Dion. And Sam says, can Emacs be shipped with smaller than it is? No. Well, you know, you know, there's no reason, you know, you don't want to. Emacs today is about 200 megabytes, but <laughs> if you look at others like Atom and stuff, you know, Microsoft Visual Basic or whatever, they are like, they are like one gigabyte, you know. So anyway, I think that's it today. Um, any more questions? Questions? So I, by the way, if you have a question, you probably already, uh, you know, asked already. So, you know, okay. So see, see you guys. So I see you guys. Thank you for coming by. Prepare your questions. Okay, type it, type it. You know, in you know, watch my videos. Type it in a comment box, uh, and support me of course you know support me i have i have patrons i have you know paypal if you like my work put your money in there okay thank you guys bye